Hey guys, it's Katie and I'm here today to share with you guys some exciting news. I'm a little late, but I kind of just decided to do this again yesterday. Um, I don't know. It's basically, if you can't tell by the title of this video, I decided that I'm going to do another temperature blanket for the year 2019. And I'm actually super excited because I didn't finish my temperature blanket that I was going to do in the year 2018 got to like February and then I just kind of got bored um I don't know like I was making granny squares but they're really big and I just didn't keep up with it so it kind of just died but this year I'm going to keep up with it and I'm kind of excited because I'm doing something a bit different this year I'm making I already started it um for the first like nine days of January already so um what I'm doing is I'm doing a corner to corner blanket uh people call it like C to C Basically, it's, it's like a lot of different little squares. If you haven't like heard of it, people use it to kind of make like designs and patterns and like words and stuff in their crochet. It's kind of like, um, like, I don't know, like pixel crochet or something, I guess. But I'm using this method and it's going to be cool because it works up in a diagonal. So that there's going to be like stripes like I'll show you. So I did the first like 10 days already so this is what I have so far so like I started in this corner and then it just works up this way um this is what it looks like so far I am doing a rainbow again because I don't know I just like the way it looks having like warm colors fade into like cooler colors for like the actual temperatures so I'm doing that again so I've decided this year to do kind of a pastel rainbow these are all the colors that I've chosen for this year's temperature blanket I'm really excited to kind of see how this turns out. I also made a little temperature blanket spreadsheet in my bullet journal. So I have kind of just everything logged here, the names of all my yarns, all the colors, and all the temperatures. And um, I just used some Crayola Super Tip markers and they all kind of match the colors that I picked out so that works great. And then I just made a little like calendar chart here so the months go across the top and the days go across the bottom and then I'm just coloring in the temperatures based on my key so I can kind of keep track of everything. I got some cute little pastels and I'm excited because this actually isn't going to end up too big because once I get to like halfway through the year you start decreasing again so that it gets to like a point so it's just going to be a big like square blanket and I think that'll just work a little bit better. Um, and it's going to create a cool kind of like chevron diagonal kind of pattern. Um, but yeah, purple is going to be my coldest color and red is my hottest color. So as you can see, it is kind of cold. Um, I will do an update at the end of January sh to show you guys more of what this looks like. If you're interested in seeing how to do this stitch, I might make a video on how to do it. Um, I will also make a video on how to color change crochet because I did have a few questions on that. I do have a crochet basics video that I'll link down below if you guys want to know more about just like basic crochet, crochet stitches. It's just kind of the real like bare bone fundamentals you need like how to do like single crochets and like you know cast on cast off bind. I don't know what they're called. That's knitting but you, you, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I will make a video on this stitch because it's a really cool stitch and um, it's actually super easy to do. And it comes in handy if you want to make like um, patterns or anything. Because I've seen some where people, I actually made my boyfriend like a Last of Us blanket. So it has like the firefly in the background. It says the Last of Us. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. But it turned out really cool and I was using this uh, C2C method. C2C method. Um, but yeah, that is about all for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am doing a temperature blanket again this year and I'm excited to actually keep up with this because this is pretty a quick, this is a pretty quick stitch. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to start a temperature blanket, I will also link my getting started video for the temperature blanket I made in 2017. That kind of has all the directions and stuff and more information than this video will have if you are interested in starting your own temperature blanket. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, also, if you guys are doing a temperature blanket again this year, be sure to tag me on Instagram, hashtag swizzlemonster, and I will check out your temperature blankets because it's really exciting to see different areas. Um, 
and what they do. So, yeah, that's about all for this video. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye!